Joel, I can't look at your butt right now. It is Friday, March 1st, 2019. We are gonna be going over in this video some of my buys since the beginning of this year. So go ahead and get your favorite bowl of cereal ready and hopefully your milk is not expired. Hello and welcome to the day. Thank you for spending your time with us. I'm Jake with Jake and Joel Our Magic. We're gonna be going over some specs today. We are gonna be talking about uh, what this show is and what you can expect moving forward. But before we can do all of that, please consider liking, subscribing. If you're not logged in, I'm not gonna make you log in. Uh, if you're just trying to hang out and watch the show, please enjoy the show. Joel makes me say all of that, but now it is over. We're going to talk about the financial stuff, but before we do, I want to talk briefly about what this episode is going to be moving forward. This is going to be something that we do regularly. Last week, we talked about War of the Spark specs and what cards are on our radar. Obviously, we can't follow that up as we have no new information on War of the Spark. So until we have new product information and we can talk about specs moving forward, we are going to go over my eBay and Card Kingdom purchase history. This is something that our followers have been interested in. They have reached out, they're like, you know, people are always interested in what other players are buying. We're gonna go over that in this video and in many more videos to come. So obviously we're always gonna be reviewing, you know, new products that are coming out. So think of these as my day-to-day -day purchases. These are cards that are on my radar and I'm gonna fast track you onto, you know, what I think about that helps me grow a modest collection into, you know, dollars and, and dollar and presidential bills. So you've been patient, you're ready to hear about it. Let's go ahead and start talking about some cardboard that I have been buying. Um, so all of these purchases are gonna be since January 1st, 2019. We do have one card here, December 31st, 2018. You can see this is a Through the Breach foil. I purchased it for 20 bucks, shipped. If you're unfamiliar with eBay, you'll see the total here, and then there's a shipping cost underneath sometimes. So that's the total price. But you can see the order total here is $20 shipped on the Through the Breach foil. Um, if you look over here, we have the Ultimate Masters Booster Box Factory Sealed with Topper. This is a factory sealed box, it's $398. That's the lowest you can find it for on eBay. So these boxes, these boxes that were sold by the thousands at like $260 when the set came out by uh, sellers that we won't name here on eBay, they are long gone. These boxes are amazing, and there's great value in them. And that is why I'm buying the foils. I'm buying the foils of low. Because moving forward, through the breach foil, uh, this Phyrexian Tower that I got for $38. This foil Phyrexian Tower, like these are the kind of cards that are EDH playable that are gonna go up in price. As Ultimate Masters becomes more expensive to acquire, as more sets come out and people are fatigued from buying and buying and buying, these are the kind of cards that people are just gonna wanna buy straight up. Let's continue. Celestial Colonnade, I bought it 27. Now keep in mind over here when I, um, when I search these cards, when I search them, these are buy it now lowest price plus shipping. So you can see uh, Celestial Colonnade foil over here is $25 shipped, okay? And that is, we need to be on buy it now, price plus shipping lowest first. If you don't know about that, that's the best way to find cheap cards. So you can see we do have someone with a Celestial Colonnade uh, that's foil for $22.67 with 99 cents shipping. That's pretty low, but we don't have an actual picture of the card, which, you know, some people that buy cards are really interested in. But you can see my purchase date is January 2nd, 2019. So we're sitting on March 1st now. And this card, you know, this one's going to get bought, the $22.67 one. 
and then there's a $25 one, and then there are other ones that are around $27. So you can see this card isn't going much lower. I bought it at $27 on January 2nd. It's now March 1st, and we're looking at this card, and the lowest you could find it for is 23 bucks, and then after that, 25, and then after that, 26. So the card will start trending back upwards. Now let's look at Jace Cunning Castaway. I bought four of these at $8.99. Um, I think this was in response to that, God, that mesmerizing benthid or whatever that mythic was that came out. But I acquired the set at $9 because I figured, you know, it's a, it's a play set of a Planeswalker that isn't, like, terrible. I mean, it's not great. A couple people experimented with it in Modern. But I figured picking up the playset and then the chance that it could spike, I mean, it really, it really hasn't done anything. These cards are just sitting in my binder. But if the card ever does anything, getting it at four of them at $9, I'm not, like, kicking myself over it. Now, moving on, we do have some priest of the forgotten gods so now you're getting a little hot spec um that i had from ravnica allegiance and you'll see here uh priest of the forgotten gods hasn't really done anything but there's a lot of room for it to do things in future sets remember um ravnica allegiance is a it's a young set and there's a lot to come out in the future that could make this card playable um i think that the card is playable i think priest of the forgotten gods is is a great card i think there's a lot going on here but we've really yet to see it shine in a standard format it's worth noting that in standard you really are playing the penny stocks these are the kind of cards that you want to buy and when they spike you sell them we're going to be talking about risk factor and different cards in an upcoming video risk factor is a card that i bought it got hyped and I moved all of them and um, I'm happy I did because risk factor is really settled down and even if I were selling them now I would have made a profit it would have been a lot smaller though so let's talk about um, MTG Magic the Gathering Ultimate Masters 3 pack blister pack I bought this for $29.95 just uh, with a $1.95 shipping um, you know, I wasn't, I, I I just picked this up because it's a really good price. You're getting three Ultimate Masters packs at $10 a pack. You'd be hard pressed to find Ultimate Masters packs at $10 a pack at this point. Uh, I don't really see Ultimate Masters in Walmart or Target anymore. And I think that, you know, this was, a, it was just something that I opened. I probably would be a lot more enthusiastic if the pulls had been better. All right, so now we're moving into some box topper action. Uh, this is a Bitter Blossom that I bought for $75 shipped. Uh, this was a Bitter Blossom that was listed for, I believe, $85. And I haggled and got it $10 off of their asking price. So let's go over here really quick. We were just talking about Ultimate Masters. And we're searching Bitter Blossom Box Topper. And we are making sure that we're on Buy It Now, Price Plus Shipping Lowest First. So, this is exactly what we were just talking about. Uh, Ultimate Masters boxes are being soaked up. And this card, the lowest you can find it for right now, is $83.99. After that, $84.99, then $95, then after shipping, $96, and then $100, and so on. These box toppers are beautiful and especially when you have a card like this that's a sticky enchantment which is great for edh edh players love enchantments and it's new art and it's the first time it's been a box stopper this is a kind of card that's going to be really desirable so because ultimate masters is about as low as it can be right now buying these needs to be on your radar now you can see i made this purchase on january 20th 2019 since then, the card has started to trend upwards. I've already made money on this card. Um, most likely, I'm not going to sell it for a long, long time. But if I needed to, it is there. Uh, Foil Smothering Tithe, Ravnica Legion's Mythic Edition. This was right after the, um, the pre-release. Someone opened a Foil Smothering Tithe, and they just listed it for $3.99, plus $3.50 shipping. So for 
and 50 cents, I got a foil smothering tithe. And this is another excellent EDH card. You start to learn about me. What am I interested in? I'm interested in cool EDH cards, cool enchantments and foils. So foil smothering tight. We go in here, we search it up. You can already see price plus shipping, lowest first. Smothering tight, $16.85. So what are we seeing here? I got this foil smothering tight for $7.50, right during the pre-release. This takes being vigilant. You have to know what to look for. You have to know what you want. And you have to know when to buy it. Right during the pre-release, people are trying to sell and move cards quickly so that they can buy cards that they want. Next up on the list, we've got Ravnica Allegiance Emergency Powers 4X. So this was a playset. You're going to see the price $26.85 here. I actually, this is three playsets. So this was a combined price. I just bought them out. I will say this about this card is I think this is the kind of card that could sneak into a deck. And that's what, I'm, that's what I mean when I talk about penny stocks and, you know, standard. This is the kind of card that you want to move. If it spikes, if it automatically, if it randomly goes to like six or seven bucks, you move it. I have cards that haunt me because I bought them watching like a, a Twitch tournament. I was watching like a Grand Prix. A card makes, you know, a top eight, everyone's hyped on it. I buy it, I get it at a good price and I hold it. And then all of a sudden the flavor of the week has changed and now I'm sitting on this card that's just, you know, a bulk mythic. You're looking at them, here they are, they were deleted. These are the Hasbro Toy Shop purchases of Ravnica Allegiance Mythic Edition. You can see I bought both of them for $249.99. Now, this is very different than Guilds of Ravnica Mythic Edition. Guilds of Ravnica Mythic Edition fetches just about double. Here we go, Ravnica Legion's Mythic Edition seal. So we gotta get past all this garbage, which is people selling the packs individually and so on. And then we get to Ravnica Legion's Mythic Edition. This product is no longer available from Hasbro Toy Shop. It only exists on secondary market now, and you can see I bought mine for $250. The lowest you can get it for is $290 right now. That will start to trend upward, even though we do believe the print run of this set was much higher than Guilds of Ravnica Mythic Edition. Uh, I have already made money on it, though, even though I would, you know, have to pay for shipping and all of that. It's something that I think I'll sell in the future, but as of right now, it is just hanging out. Continuing on... We've got a uh, Domri Chaos Bringer. It's funny because we're just talking about Ravnica Allegiance Mythic Edition and how I bought it, but I'm not opening it. However, I do want to run Domri in EDH, and so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a Domri. We're gonna go ahead and take a look here really quick, and you can see this is not Mythic Edition, so pay no attention to this price here. But you can see Domri Chaos Bringer already starting to trend up a tiny bit since when I bought it for $20. It's now $21.99 lowest, and then after that it's $25. So even with as, as big a print run as people are speculating Ravnica Allegiance Mythic Edition had, the singles are already starting to go up a little bit. And this is eBay where cards are lowest of the low. Uh, after shipping, you never know what you're gonna get. But if you're if you're savvy with eBay, you know what buyers to buy from and who to avoid. Uh, let's move on here. This was a foil Eternal Witness Ultimate Masters packed to sleeve. Let's let's go and take a look here really quick. I got this for five dollars on February sixth. Eternal Witness foil, lowest price plus shipping. Buy it now. Ten dollars. So I got it for half of what the lowest you can find it for. And that's just by being vigilant, just by like checking, like have the eBay app on your phone. This is another card, here we go. The Foil Phyrexian Altar, Ultimate Masters. We're gonna go and look this up as well. This is a more recent purchase, this is February 15th. Phyrexian Altar Foil, now it does have a very, very beautiful older foil version. But we can already see these, these Phyrexian Altars, this is such an amazing EDH card, it's played in other formats. This is the kind of card that you want to get like soon. This is this is not me being like, I've got a stack of foil Phyrexian altars and I want you to go and buy them so that I can sell my card for double what I bought it for. I literally have one. Here it is. Ultimate Masters is trending upwards. 
people are saying the boxes are going to go as high as like $500. Alright, so now we're getting into some specs that are reflective of last week's video where we talked about War of the Spark. Uh, deploy the Gatewatch. This is a playset. I bought two of them. That's what this price is reflective of, this $9.98. That's two sets of Deploy the Gatewatch. This is one of those cards where if the set is indeed lots of Planeswalkers, this is the kind of card that's going to start getting experimented with. It could spike. We have a Foil Mox Amber right here for 25 that I bought. This is another War of the Spark spec. Then we uh, we move up here to some more Ultimate Masters. Uh, Fauna Shaman. Amazing EDH card. It's super low right now. We've already talked about Ultimate Masters on an upward trend. Just getting in at this card while it's at the lowest. Let's, let's go ahead and check on Fauna Shaman real quick. So we do have one here that's $8.39, it's gonna get bought. And then after that, $10 and $10. And I think this is a kind of card that will go up just because, God, it's just so good in EDH. Then we have another Boggles card here, Foil, Hyena Umbra. This isn't a spec, this is just me buying cards for a deck. And then after that, we have a Demonic Tutor Foil. I finally picked one up for EDH. I got it for $45. Let's go ahead and see. So the lowest you can find it for right now is uh, $48. So I got in a little bit under that. But this is a card where it does not have a foil printing. It has, well it does, it does have a, uh, if we scroll down here you'll see. <laughs> it has the box topper printing, which is amazing. But then it also has this foil printing. So it has the judge rewards printing, but that price is so like it's so much higher. So you can see based on these purchases, a lot of the things that we uh, went over today. These are cards that are EDH staples, some more of the spark specs, a lot of great cards and not much room to take a big loss on any of these. The Ultimate Masters foils right now is the best time to be buying them. They're not going to go much lower as the set gets soaked up and they become more desirable. They're only going to go up and there's so many good cards in there uh, for different formats, Modern, Legacy, EDH that you want to get them now. If, if you're sitting waiting for Demonic Tutor Foil to be cheaper, I got some tough news for you. It's not gonna get much cheaper. So go ahead and pounce, do it to it. But as always, this is what I do. This is what I do with my money. I'm not saying to go out. Don't go spend your whole bankroll thinking that you're gonna hit it big with Magic the Gathering cards. But if you found some of this information useful, this is, that's great. This is the kind of thing that I do to get in low on cards, sell high, grow a collection from not having to spend much money and just sell the cards to propel you into uh, a you know, bigger, brighter, more amazing, more broken, more foily, more blinging, shiny cardboard crack. All right, so I hope you liked the video. We've got many more videos like this to come. Remember to like, subscribe, all those things that Joel talks about all the time and he dreams about and he texts me about and he's like, oh, I had this dream about likes and subscribers. I'm, I'm tapped out. Um, is there anything I missed? Nope, that sounded good. If you have an idea for what we should call this video, drop it in the comments. We're still trying to figure that out. That's got a lot of good ones last week. Thanks we got a lot of good ones last week. I, I hope you have a great day and I'm always on a quest for uh, becoming more more happy and I hope that you are too and I hope that you find uh, you know what you're looking for and I hope this channel is it and I'll blink at you.